when I first heard that it went off, it was kind of just a waiting game. A waiting game for water. People living at the big chair lofts in Thomasville woke up to no running water in their apartments Wednesday. Some residents reached out to Fox 8 about their frustrations. We sent Fox 8's Tyler Harden to see why it was shut off. He joins us live from outside that complex on East Guilford Street. Tyler, first, is it back on? The water is back on. That was after being off for three hours yesterday morning. Now, a lot of the residents here tell me this is just another headache with the crime they see, the trash troubles, and some unruly guests. One resident says that she's just had enough. Didn't get any notices or anything. It was just shut off and we didn't have water. Tylea Campbell woke up to her faucets running dry Wednesday morning. My boyfriend had looked out the window and he actually seen them turning it off and question them about like why is it why are you guys turning the water off she says crews cut the water around 9 30 a.m and it didn't come back on until 12 30 that afternoon an unexpected disruption to her family's morning routine they couldn't even brush their teeth wash up or anything you can't cook if you wanted to um you it's kind of surprising how much you use water it's something that's included in the rent since she moved in last year she showed me the lease agreement we were told that the building didn't pay the bill for the water forcing her to turn to water bottles while management fixed it i mean the only thing we're left with is if you actually buy a case of water or something but not everybody has access to it i reached out to big chair lofts management company cohen esray about the water trouble senior vice president ryan huffman sent me this statement we are aware of the water disconnect at big chair lofts which was a result of invoices we did not have at the time for payment the issue was handled within one hour of notification, and we have since adjusted the billing with the water department to route the bills directly to our corporate offices, which will avoid this in the future for our valued residents. If I'm doing my part, why can't they do theirs? Even after the bill was paid and Tylea's water came back on, she's still thinking about finding a new place to live. Eventually, honestly, I do want to move out of here. Um, I just feel like it's too much as a resident. Now, this complex gets the water from the city of Thomasville. Today, I've reached out to the city manager's office, to public works, and also code compliance for any violations or complaints. I just checked my phone, and the city assistant city manager tells me that they're still working on my request. Live in Thomasville tonight, Tyler Harden, Fox 8 News.